Okay, cool. So now you have to pretend that you unironically love the Smurfs on Twitter for a week. Hey, guys. Great dress. Thanks. I thrifted it. You guys ever get the feeling like maybe you were born into the wrong decade? No. I do. I really feel like it would have killed it in the 1960s. Just was a pure time. Yeah, plus the music was great. It was like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones. You know, you'd be like... <gasps> I'm a rolling stone, right? <laughs> and you could watch the moon landing. It really feels like the decade when America came into its own. Yeah, but you also couldn't marry someone of a different race in most of the country. Whoa, trap. What, th that was a defining feature of the 60s? Not my 60s. Your 60s didn't have segregation. You know, upon further consideration, I really feel the decade that I would have destroyed it in the 1920s. I mean, the flapper dresses are just so chic. Plus there's like endless champagne and like I'm really good at the Charleston. Like, like oh, oh, doing the Charleston, I'm a Charleston. <laughs> Not to mention Ellis Island. Ellis Island? It really feels like the decade when America came into its own, you know? Plus you just straight up catch polio and die. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Crap! What? It was the 20s. Everyone had polio. Fucking Roosevelt had polio. Polio's part of the package. Clearly when I say I wish I was alive in the 1920s, I mean the fun 1920s. Like, oh, some like it hot, or like Al Capone, just like... The murderer. Yeah, well, I guess if you really want to delve into the technicalities of it, sure. Those were classic murders. It was just a more elegant time. Fine, if you only take the good parts, then sure, being young in the 20s would have been fun. Thank you. And then you would have been just the right age to die in World War II. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. That's how time works. You know, really, if I think about it, the decade that I would have totally annihilated would be the 1770s. I mean, just those crinolines are just so beautiful. Think of all the balls, you know? It's like... Yeah. <gasps> Plus the whole revolution thing. It really was the decade when America came into its own. Yeah, or you could be a slave. Why would Katie be a slave? She could have been a slave. There were slaves or an indentured servant, or blind from pink eye, or dead of smallpox, or living in a one-room hovel with eight No! Children. Stop it! You're ruining it! That's what the 1770s were like. It was shitty for most people, okay? And you live now. And sure, now has its problems, but it's just objectively better, right? You wouldn't have phones. My baby. You wouldn't have computers. <laughs> My baby. And nobody brushed their teeth. Ah! Ah! Okay, maybe Trap's right. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay in this decade. What? Ever. I mean, next thing you're going to be saying that I wasn't Cleopatra in a former life. You weren't. She definitely wasn't. I was! I was Cleopatra in a past life, so... You know what age I really would have killed it? The heroic age. Oh, you would have killed it. Right? Hey! Oh. Hi, it's Katie Mirovich from College Humor. If you want to subscribe, click over here. And for more fun stuff, click over here. And if you want access to College Humor's secret site, make sure you send your social security number, your credit card information, and your mother's maiden name in a private message to me.